welcome back in this class we are going to discuss about basic circuit concepts but we are going to discuss a very basic concept in this basic circuit concept the first concept we are going to discuss is sheet resistance okay now don't forget sheet resistance is represented as r and in the suffix s represented it is a sheet now you can observe that let us consider if you are having a sheet if you are having a sheet okay of length l of length l and width w and the resistivity is rho if you want to determine the resistance between this end to this end let us consider a is one end and b is another end if you want to determine the resistance from a b that means between a b if you are having a resistivity as rho and length as l and width as w then you can clearly talk about rho l by a okay where area is your cross sectional area now what is the unit of resistance we know absolutely ohm is the unit of resistance but don't forget here you are going to talk about sheet resistance okay you are going to talk about only the sheet resistance is it understood now let us consider area we know that how we are going to write area either length into width or thickness into width is it clear now i am going to write a is equals to t into w in the above expression then what it becomes rho l divided by t into w okay now let us assume that this sheet is a square sheet okay let us assume this sheet is what a square sheet if the sheet is square then you know very well that length is equals to what width okay therefore i can say that length and width gets cancel is it okay therefore i can say at this particular point r is equals to rho by t but the units are ohm per square it is a very important point okay now the sheet which consists of a square the resistance of that sheet is referred as sheet resistance is it clear therefore finally i am concluding that rs is equals to rho by t okay what is the unit of this sheet resistance absolutely ohm per square somebody will show this symbol as a square don't forget it is a square is it okay this is the concept of sheet resistance sheet resistance is defined as the resistance per square is it clear what is that resistance rho by t is that resistance but don't forget this resistance okay ohm per square this is ohm per square this is a symbol of square if you want you may write square also is it clear now you can observe some basic values of sheet resistance now you can see some basic values of sheet resistance this is our sheet resistance r s is equals to rho by t ohm per square now you can observe some typical values of sheet resistance this is very important to perform the problems based on sheet resistance okay now you can observe these are the layers we are having we know metal we know diffusion but we don't know what is silicide we know polysilicon we know two transistors one is n channel transistor another one is p channel transistor is it clear now you can observe very carefully we are having three different technologies one is 5 micrometer technology another one is 2 micrometer technology it is an orbit that is a 2 micrometer technology okay don't forget it is a 2 micrometer technology and it is 1.2 micrometer technology is it clear now very important one in this technologies you can observe that the metal consist of the value of sheet resistance 0.03 in 2 micrometer 0.04 in 1.2 micrometer 0.04 
Now you can observe that the diffusion may varies from 10 to 50, here 20 to 45, here 20 to 45. Now the polysilicon may vary from 15 to 100, here also 15 to 30, here 15 to 30. Okay. Now you can observe very important point here is, okay, we don't know what is silicide, therefore I am not talking about silicide. Now, which is very important for your external point of view for performing problems in a sense. Remember, N transistor channel and P transistor channel. In 5 micrometer technology, the sheet resistance of N transistor channel is 10 power 4. Okay, whereas P transistor channel is 2.5 into 10 power 4. We know very well that, okay, P mass which should be 2.5 times of width of N mass. Because of that, the resistance is going to be increased. Is it okay? Now you can observe that here. If the sheet resistance of N transistor channel in 5 micrometer technology is 10 power 4, then in the P transistor it is 2.5 into 10 power 4. And similarly, in 2 micrometer technology, if it is 2 into 10 power 4, then if you add 2.5, then it becomes 4.5 into 10 to the power of 4. Is it clear? Now, very importantly, you can observe this values and this values look same. That means if you remember 2 micrometer, then no need to remember 1.2 micrometer. Why? Because both are similar in nature. Just you have to remember only 5 micrometer for the difference purpose. Is it understood all of you? Very importantly, once again, I am saying that in 5 micrometer technology, the sheet resistance of N is 10 power 4. Whereas the sheet resistance of P is 2.5 into 10 power 4. In 2, R, 2 and 1.2 micrometer technology, the value of uh, sheet resistance of N transistor channel is 2 into 10 power 4. Here 4.5 into 10 power 4. Is it understood? Okay, in the next class we will see how the sheet resistance concept is applied to mass and inverters. Okay. This is the next concept. Thank you very much for each and everyone. If you are having any queries, please comment. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.